8. The diagram below shows the construction of AB through point P parallel to CD. Which theorem justifies this method of construction? Before we read these answer choices, let's just understand what it is they're doing in this picture, what it is that they're constructing. So it says it's the construction of AB through point P parallel to CD. So CD already existed, and they were trying to construct AB, a parallel line, by using this transversal, right? So the first thing they did was they put their compass here and they put it at some arbitrary distance, right? They didn't they weren't very particular about how far how wide that compass needed to be open. And they drew this curve. And then they put the compass at point P and they drew this curve. So those are exactly the same. And then they picked their compass up and they put the point here and we're very careful to set the distance at just the right length that it would hit this point, the point where the first curve intersected with the line CD. And then, without changing the distance of the compass, they came back up here, put the compass at this point, and drew the exact same curve as they had below. And what that did was that intersection established a new point. So if, that, if this new point and point P are now known, that defines a line. Anytime, any two points defines a line. So now we can draw a line AB, and we know that AB should be parallel to CD because of the way that construction was done. Okay, now let's take a look at the answer choices. One, if two lines in a plane are perpendicular right away, are these lines perpendicular? This transversal, it might be perpendicular, but it, it certainly doesn't look it, right? This looks acute, this looks obtuse, same down here, so it's not number one. If two lines in a plane are cut by a transversal to form congruent corresponding angles, then the lines are parallel. This is it, right? Because these two angles are congruent corresponding angles. So that's exactly right. Why don't the others work? If two lines in a plane are cut by a transversal to form congruent alternate interior angles, that's the key words there, alternate interior angles, that would be like if this was the first one, then maybe this would be the second one. Those, these two would be alternate interior to each other. So it's not that, and it's not exterior angles either. So two is the best choice.